It's cotton candy cloud So in today's video, I am here to share with you guys this unit that I am rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, Diva, so jumping right in. Today we have a unit by Sensational. It is their buddy unit three, and I have her in the color number 1B. So she has a gorgeous curl pattern. Her density is on the thinner side, but she is pretty. So here's the cap construction. It is big head friendly. She does come with two combs in the front as well as a comb in the back with the adjustable strap. This unit also features a middle part. It is a set middle part. It is not a 13 by four or 13 by six or anything like that as you guys seen. Here is the hairline and the lace. The lace is very light still um, and the hairline is pre-plugged and that parting area looks really, really good. So here's how the unit looks directly onto my head and um now i'm going to show you guys how it falls on me this unit was super long i was like oh my gosh like yeah so it is super duper long as you guys can see i do have a shorter neck and i am 5'2 in case you want to use that for a reference so the hairline looks really really good so now i'm going to go in and make this unit work for me i'm just taking some mousse just so that i can kind of run my fingers through it and make it just a little bit thicker or give it kind of like that wet look because this hair is definitely giving off bundle vibes so i just wanted to go ahead and add that so that the hair doesn't get too out of control and this also helps to make your curly synthetic units last a lot longer but anyways i'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video and of course i'll finish out with my closing thoughts so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this hair i am here to tell you guys how i feel about it so let's just jump right in okay diva so jump in right into this review of course i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the pros and the cons okay so or i'm gonna start off with the pros and then we're gonna go into the cons so um if you guys don't know i have been on this roller coaster with this butter lace okay i have done number one two and now this is three okay so if you guys did not check out my other videos on the other units in case you're wondering like which ones you should get definitely check out um my video and then of course at the end of this video i'm going to tell you guys which one was my favorite from the collection and then how i like them because i kind of liked all of them so um yeah but anyways let's go ahead and talk about this unit this is butter unit three and as you guys can see she is very different from the first two um the first one was a bob um just like your average side part bob um, with the same cap construction and then um, well all of them have the same cap construction the HD butter lace and then the second one was like this longer one with like these um, barrel curls like loose barrel curls um, so this one is curly and it's different that's why I was really excited to try it now it's been so many ups and downs with this line like I don't I don't think I've seen mixed reviews like this in a long time so it was very much so mixed but however a lot of you guys DM me and requested this um unit you guys even requested on my old curly synthetic unit videos like can you please do the new butter lace so here we are girl so so first of all we're gonna start off with the pros so the pros is that the lace is really really bomb it melts right into your skin and I really really do love that the parting space is nice um, and this is just a parting space if you guys see me show the cap construction um, this is not like a 13 by 6 13 by 4 4 by 4 none of that this is just basically a part unit but however the difference is that they did pre-plugs like so you get pre this from like here to here which is really good because it makes the wig look all the more natural which is really really nice now I believe you can shift this unit but me myself personally I am a middle part type of girl so that's why I didn't feel the need to shift her but if you want to you can go ahead and try and experiment with that I personally think she looks really good in the middle but if you're not a middle part type of girl that you know do you think so i really do like the cap construction the cap construction fits my head very well unlike the new what lace units and i reviewed those as well so definitely check that out too but um so i love how like spacious this unit is i love the parting space i like the pre-pluckness um i just went in and pulled out a few hairs at the front 
because they were in my way I just want to lay my wig down without them disturbing me so that's why I did that but however it's not necessary I'm just extra so sometimes I just do more than needs to be done that's just me but yeah I do overall like the cap construction I like these curls um and I also like the texture of this hair the texture of this hair is very very soft um it feels like human hair okay like it is very very soft now um you are going to experience shedding and tangling um you will experience that with this type of pattern whether it's human or synthetic um because it's curly um however um it was not anything that was excessive as you guys seen i went in and i put my mousse on this hair and i put my mousse on this hair because i wanted to run my fingers through it to give it a little bit of volume like i didn't want to get to get too big because you know if you run your fingers through this and you don't apply anything this hair is going to get big and out of control and it's going to be like girl we need to bring her back to life and i don't know if there's bringing her back to life after that so i just went in with my can to uh curling mousse and i just did that so don't ever be afraid to put mousse on your curly synthetic units they actually help them to last longer because it keeps the curls in place um especially in the nape area you want to make sure you put um a decent amount because that can also um you know prevent the tangling and everything it's not going to prevent it completely but if you put it in the nape it'll hold the curls in place that's another thing that i like about mousse and yeah so i feel like this hair is definitely like giving me bundle vibes okay like i'm getting all the bundle vibes with this hair i really like it it reminds me of like some deep wave hair that i had like it looks really really pretty so the curl pattern on this is impeccable i really really do like that so kudos to sensational for that um what else do i like i think that's pretty much it so i like the style love the cap construction love the way the hair texture feels um love that there is shedding and tangling but it's not too much to make me be like girl it's going in the trash now my con with this wig is that i feel like personally that it's too long um and i don't like i i love long hair don't get me wrong because i know if you guys have been watching me for a while you're like girl you love long hair but i feel like the bottoms are going to like they're gonna go first so it just i don't know i don't know for me i was just like i just felt like it didn't need to be that long like maybe like 18 inches or 20 inches or something like that but on me this is like 24 26 inch okay <laughs> like it's pretty long so that's why i'm like did we need it to be that long i don't know for me that was kind of a con but um and then also i got some humpage back here I don't know if you guys could see that, but I have some humpage back here. So, and I don't know. I don't like to ruin the texture. Like, I don't want to be running my hot comb through it, trying to flatten it. And then I end up, like, going a little bit down. And then I straighten that part of my wig. You get what I'm saying? So, I want it to be, like... I don't know like I just don't want any hump action especially when it has like a curl pattern that I might possibly mess up like it will be okay if it's like a straight unit that's been curled um, with big barrel curls or if it's a straight unit but when it's like curly or kinky or something I expect my unit to not have any humpage in it um it's nothing that's too bad because as you guys can see you looking but and my hair is not flat under here so um i feel like it looks pretty good but at the same time like i don't know i just don't like humps in my wig but overall i think this is a fabulous unit um i have nothing too much bad to say about it um i would definitely tell you that this unit is definitely my favorite out of all three um even though i liked number two like i really did rock with number two um but i don't know i just like this one better even though this one i feel like is a little bit too long i feel like it's a little bit too dramatic which is crazy for me to say because i love long dramatic hair like i love that but i don't know like for this one i'm just like i don't know i just didn't feel like it needs to be this long but however this is very beautiful very much so getting bundle vibes off of this so i would definitely recommend her because if you don't want to spend that coin on some bundles you could definitely go ahead and get this one and plus it has the hd lace parting um as far as it being beginner friendly i feel like all these units are beginner friendly however you are gonna have to put in the work to tint the lace because as you guys know the lace is really light which i like because i can tint it to my perfect color um so that's the only thing that's not beginner friendly everything else is because it is like our standard pre-parted units and i feel like personally this is better just because of the simple fact that it has this hd lace and that is pre-plugged so everything is pretty much done for you except for tinting the lace if you are chocolatey like me or you know if you're 
skin tone does not match up with that lace. So yeah, I would definitely recommend her. I'll have a link down in the description box below in case you fabulous girls aren't interested. Be sure to check that out. And yeah, divas, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow. If you fabulous girls did, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you fabulous girls and know what you guys are thinking. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also hit that notification bell, girl. I do upload quite often, so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos. But yeah, divas, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you fabulous girls in my next video. Bye.